Hey, it's Steve Overton with Zen Coast Consulting. In this short demo, we're going to take a look at alert volumes generated from scenarios. And the story here is again, I'm an AML manager and I just want to get some ideas to what alerts are fired and triggered from the scenarios we have as a part of our process. So as you can see, we have a tree map on the left. I can select different boxes. And basically, the, the box size represents the volume of alerts, while the color represents the number of false positives. So for example, I can click structuring. You can see my uh, bar chart over time updates. So you know, the blue bars represent the alert volume, where green bars represent the, vo uh, the volume of false positives. From here, I can click into a particular year. Let's say I want to focus on June. You'll see the detailed table listing below update. Again, from here, I can export or I can print or I can actually drill down to an individual day, uh, month down to the day if I need to. So again, you can see I can select different month or down to the day. I can select different days and get alert details as they come across. In the next tab, Still looking at alert volume, but this time we're going to start looking at it by investigator. So here we're looking at overall alert volume over time. So it's, it's a little bit opposite from the last section. Last section we looked at a particular category, then went in down to the time level and then to the detail level. In this particular report, we're going to look at alert volume over time and then step down into the investigator. So for example, I can select, uh, let's just drill into 2014. I can see here, let's say June, and you can see my bar charts and cross tab below updating. So what can I do for this, or what can I do with this? As a manager, I can look at, let's say for the month of December 2014, I've clicked that, and we can see our bar charts on the right here by investigator, and I can see that the majority of investigators are working about the same volume of alerts, but it looks like Maisha and Marlin are actually working about half the number of alerts as everybody else. So what this is useful for is if I want to look at staffing, if I want to look at triage, and look at whatever I need to do on the front line to adjust that to distribute it a little bit more evenly across investigators, I can do that from here. As you can see here also, I can select my bottom two investigators and my cross tab on the left here updates. So I can actually break down what types of alerts the bottom two investigators are working. Again, I can select any, any number of investigators and in, in update and get the number of alerts they're working, false positive uh, counts that they are designating, as well as the investigations that these investigators are creating. 